Hey everybody, um, welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, my name's Adam Jones, for those that don't already know. And for those coming back, thank you very much for coming back to check out a new YouTube video. So um, I have snuck out. I've been on conference calls most of the morning. Sorry it's been a while since I've done a, a video. If I'm honest, it's uh, it's been really, really kind of difficult to make one with lockdown and all of the things that are going on. Um, some of the areas I fish that are very local to me, I'm not allowed to make videos. Um, and to be honest it's been really difficult fishing anyway and i haven't been out a huge amount so um i have got my major craft um prototype bfs rod which will be coming out at some point this year that i've mentioned a few times um this is a much softer um kind of action to the days it's a really really nice light blank perfect for having fun on the canals um so i'm going to go take it down to the canal now have a bit of a mess around i've got some skirted uh, jigs neds bugs goats all that type of stuff um, and I'm hoping we're going to find a few fish um, if not it's just nice to get out of the house nice to clear the brain um, like I said thanks so much for coming back to the video um, I hope you guys are safe and well um, obviously staying local but getting out a little bit to go fishing and clear your heads um, like I'm trying to at the moment so um, fair play to the Angling Trust for getting us out um, hopefully this will be a good video like I said thanks for coming back if you haven't already please uh, like and subscribe um, for more videos like this um, and I will speak to you guys very very soon got about 100 yards to go fingers crossed we're going to find a perch speak to you in a bit right so I am uh, starting up by a locked section I'm going to work 100 meters up to the lock try and find out where the fish are um, keeping my eyes kind of on the surface and seeing if I can see any silverfish topping. There was an inquiry straight away. It's good news. Um, I'm fishing a skirted Ned with a finesse TRD and June bug. Just going to work, like I said, up to the lock. I'm keeping my eyes down the canal just to see if I can obviously find out where the silverfish are holding up and hopefully we'll find a few perch yep there you go oh he's come off and he's back in right so two casts two inquiries one fish now that is not the start i was expecting so hopefully we've dropped in on a little bit of a shoal All I'm doing is just gently bouncing this Ned along the bottom. A couple of bounces and pause. And just kind of searching these fish out. Yeah, that's a perch. That's a nice one as well. Come on, in you go. Lovely. It's not huge, but it's not small. That is a good start. That's a solid pound and a half fish. Let's just have a little look at that. Nice fat fish as well. As you can see, Absolutely smoked the uh, oh, hang on a sec. She is full. 
as you can see, absolutely smoked the TRD right in the corner of the mouth. That is a lovely, lovely fat fish. Hook nice and easy out the corner. Let's get her back in, see if we can find a couple of her mates. What a beautiful fish. Right, literally just giving her a quick rest in the net there. Just going to cast it straight back over the top of that middle part of the channel where she was. As you guys know, perch are a shoal fish. And often, just holding onto a fish for one cast can be the difference between having just one and then that one will go back to the shoal and spook them. Or sometimes you can uh, manipulate the second fish into taking before they know what's going on. So I'll literally just have two or three casts just while that fish rests. This is only a very shallow canal, so holding the fish in the edge is not going to do it any harm in a nice deep landing net. And just an extra run through the swim can result in another fish. be the last cast just to show you guys in real time how long I'll rest these fish for and if you don't get a bite straight away then you need to put the fish back get her back let's move slightly further down the canal as you can see strong as an ox I just need to turn this net over there she is turn the net over and away she goes straight down the edge right Let's move slightly further down, see if we can find another. Good start. That's a really nice start. Obviously dropped in on a few fish. It's about seven or eight casts and two fish and multiple hits, so that's good. Right, just seen a fish top slightly further up, so I'm going to have one more cast in this swim. And then I'm going to move down. It looks like there might be a shoulder silverfish. I'm pushed up towards the lock at the end, so... If that is the case, we could be in for some sport. Oh, that was a bite. That was definitely a bite. Right, I'm just edging my way ever closer to where I think those fish are shoaling up a bit of a shoal of bait fish. I don't want to go straight there because what you'll often find is if you have found an area where the bait fish have been shoaled up, I seem to find that the bigger perch will actually sit off the shoal um, because it's kind of, you know, they are the lazy ones. The little perch will do all the chasing, kind of move those fish into an area and the bigger ones will sit kind of out on the outside of that shoal 
sometimes you know it can be 10 meters away from where the fish are and um, can be further and they'll just sit in a kind of thinner part of the channel or you know somewhere that's just slightly deeper that they can ambush from better or there might be some underwater features that obviously you can't see and those bigger lazier kind of wilier fish will stay off the edge waiting for those individual silverfish or crayfish or any of the prey that moves away from that shoal um, and then they'll pick them off easier um, further away so like I said I'll just edge my way kind of slowly but surely another kind of probably 10 meters to where I've started to see them top and uh, hopefully before we get there we'll end up with a slightly bigger hit so for those guys new to the channel all I'm doing at the moment is just kind of slowly hopping my skirted Ned rig with the Z-Man finesse TRD just nice and slow across the bottom just giving these fish a chance to uh, there you go a chance to find the bait it's only a little one but it's a fish all the same oh it's just come off there you go So we've definitely, definitely found a shoal of fish, which is wicked. There's three fish to the bank. Quite a few inquiries. I don't think the inquiries have been from very big fish. Um, obviously that slightly bigger fish kind of knocking on that pan and three quarters to just under two um, mark, which is great. Oh, is that a fish? No. Good snag though. Always good when the snag kicks, just to set your heart on fire. That's a really nice, uh, it's a nice snag that. Love it. It's good to see that the snags are healthy, isn't it? Really good to see that they're uh, doing well. <laughs> right. Let's keep ticking along. We're getting ever so slightly closer to where those silver fish are topping. Just seeing one top about five meters up from me. So there's a reed bed on the far bank, a couple of trees either side. I think I'm going to just move up a touch, see if they're sat next to that. All right, I'm casting up at the shoal now, straight up the canal. Again, just two or three seconds between bounces, just seeing if we can locate the fish. I've just put one cast straight up the inside marginal shelf, so not right on the inside kind of more in line with where the drop-off would be. Obviously that's different in everybody's canals, but this one seems to be about a metre and a half off the edge. So I'll have one cast up there, and then I'm gonna play another cast straight across um, to the other marginal shelf. And that'll kind of come back obviously through the middle of the channel. Give us a chance to see if there's any looking around it's just trying to be relatively methodical about how you work your bait through a section trying to find those fish if you're fishing kind of with a net as well you need to be kind of twisting and moving and using your eyes and your watercraft a lot more because it takes an awfully long time to fish through a section with a net, so 
try and kind of twist and move a couple of casts, aim at structure and then move on. Again, now I'm just going to keep working that far bank and just bring it ever so slightly closer until I'm back in front of myself. So I'll probably have four casts along this kind of weed bed and then I'll move across a little higher up the, uh, the canal towards again towards where those bait fish are. And I would imagine at some point we'll come in contact with some bigger fish, just need to find out where they're sitting. We're now getting much, much closer to where some of those fish are holding. The visibility of this part of the canal is considerably worse, so very interesting to see if we come up with anything. Certainly a half decent perch, that's for sure. At least we found out where the uh, where the shoal is. Look at that fish. Absolutely smoked it again, just inside. That is a stunning perch, not a blemish on her. Beautiful stripy red fins. They are just the most awesome creatures, aren't they? Right, let's get this one back. There we go. Absolutely stunning fish. Right, let's drop her back in. And away she goes. Hopefully, that's a little shoal that we've just found there. And, uh, Hopefully, signs of more bites to come. It's not the biggest perch in the world, but on the right tackle, those are a lovely sized fish to be catching. Right, clarity down here is not great. But, Let's see if this is where the shoal is. Oh, that was some sort of bite. Maybe a bit of a liner. There's a shoal of fish there though, so that is a good sign. See if we can find them. There we go, nice little perch. Again, right in the corner of the mouth. I right, just had a couple more out of this uh, out of this pool, so I think I may have found the shoal. Not big fish, but certainly fun. Seems the predators are starting to wake up a little bit, which is always a good sign. Oh, that was a bite. There's a shoal of much smaller perch down there, I think. The 
They just seem to be sat right in the middle of the deep channel. There you go. It's only a little one, but it was exactly where I thought he was going to be. Lovely little fish, very, very pretty. Not a single blemish, which is always a good sign at the moment. Fin perfect, doesn't like it's been caught before. That's what it's all about. So kind of like I thought, as I've come up to where the silverfish are, they've definitely been hounded in here by the smaller perch. So at the moment, I'm catching a lot a small perch um, which is basically what I thought was going to happen and I think the bigger fish are going to be sat kind of further away down the canal um, but there are so many little bits that have been kind of pushed up towards this lock the lock is right up here so there's obviously a lot of food for them like I said I think what seems to happen is they do do this they you know you get all of those small fish pushing up the small fish and I would imagine that the bigger ones are going to be away to my right but equally it's not a kind of exact science and sometimes those big ones are really hungry and they'll come right through the middle of the shoal so can't disregard it it's great fun um, but it'll be quite a battle to get through these smaller fish if the shoal is as big as I think it is. Yeah, there you go. Another perch. Slightly better one, longer fish. Really nice. Again, right in the middle of the channel, in the deep water, sat underneath that shoulder fry. Look how pretty that is in the sun. All right, let's get him back. Let's see if we can find his mum. There's no doubt that the bigger ones are still around here somewhere. But finding them is proving slightly more difficult at the moment. A lot of bit of winter sun as well. That was a nice bite. Just left that a little bit longer. Just a couple of seconds more on the pause. Maybe that's what I need to do. Just slow it down even more. This wind is uh, pretty cold, to be honest, at the moment. We've had a couple of days of warm weather, so hopefully that means the bigger girls are on the feed. Right, I'm now going to practice my own advice and start moving slowly back away from the shoal to try and zone in on a few bigger fish. Right, I've just seen a bit of a disturbance about 150 yards or so up the canal which again if you weren't paying attention to you might miss I think that there's a few fish up there so even though there are obviously fish here I haven't had any inquiries from some bigger ones so I'm going to move down 
and play that hunch. I can always come back to here in a second. That is definitely a shoal of uh, silverfish here. It's quite a lot of fry in the edge. And this is pretty much bang slap on top of where I saw that commotion. So, fingers crossed, we can find something a bit bigger. There's quite a few silverfish starting to top now, so I'm quite hopeful that we'll get a decent bite. Right, there's something feeding back higher up as well, so I might have to uh, go and check that out before the sun goes down. perch and she goes the hunch paid off that's a slightly bigger fish than we've been dealing with apart from that first kind of pound and a half sized fish as you can see nice fat healthy perch again she's absolutely creamed it Probably pound and a half. Get that hook out. There we go. Right, we're going to get this gorgeous perch back. Seems to be about the uh, the biggest stamp I can uh, get hold of. I think that one earlier on was, well, I don't think it was quite a bit bigger than this girl, but good to see my hunch paid off. Came down to where I saw some disturbance and obviously pick that fish up which is great let's um get her back in absolutely stunning right let's go back and see if we can find some from where we started and then that's pretty much going to be light i think fingers crossed one of those bigger ones fancies it right probably got about 10 minutes left of light something like that i've come back down to um where the shoal is just to see if I can winkle out something bigger than two pounds it's not looking brilliant but catching perch is not the problem there's another lovely senior wasp couldn't resist it more kind of in the shoal again really interesting to see if we do pick up anything bigger wow that wind is strong and cold
Right, I thought the session was over. Just literally starting to walk back to the car. Saw a swirl, some bait fish jumping. And lo and behold, some perch sat underneath them. So, have a couple more casts just to see. The classic last, 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 last cast. Um, it's definitely a bit of commotion. So, it'd be nice if there was also a bit of a shoal of perch, but. Doesn't really feel like that's been the case thus far, but there we go, and another one. That's a better better size one. Pretty senior senior wasp. I would say graduating on to almost full size perch. Bit of a dodgy fen. Definitely been through the wars. Alright, let's get him back. Let's see if we can find another. It's typical, we've spent, well, I've spent about an hour searching out a shoal, and just as I'm walking back to the car, there's one right in front of me. Right, I'm too cold, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Speak to you guys in a sec. Hey guys, right, so that's the end of the session. Um, nothing massive, kind of just under two pounds, probably the biggest fish um, in that kind of group, but such good fun. So glad to get out of the house, you know, for an hour and 10 minutes. Um, can't really argue with that, I guess. So uh, it's almost dark. I'm freezing cold. The wind has kind of switched around from a southwesterly yesterday and progressively moved around to a northwesterly, and uh, it's cold, very, very cold. So glad to caught a few fish. Um, like I said, thanks so much for coming to my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, all of the kind of comments, you know, asking me to get out and make some more. Um, thanks very much, guys. I'm so pleased that you're enjoying watching them. Um, like I've said, half as much as I enjoy making them. Um, it's been difficult over the past few weeks with all of the stuff going on. So um, thanks very much for coming back. And uh, like I've said before, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, obviously hit that like button and uh, press the bell icon on there. And obviously you'll be notified the next time that I do a video. So um, yeah, tight lines. If you're on the bank, remember, stay local, stay safe at the moment. And uh, I'll speak to you guys very, very soon. I'm off to go and warm up because I am cold. <laughs> Speak to you guys in a bit. Stay safe. Speak soon.